Hey gang, welcome to another Bowers 95713 video on YouTube. I go by Demon Seed, so if you're looking for my other videos, just search Demon Seed on YouTube. Today we're going over the DJI Phantom and a first time user. So if you've never flown your Phantom before and you're trying to figure out exactly how to take off and uh, how to hover, how to maneuver yourself around, pay attention for a few minutes because I'm going to show you how to do it so that you'll be safe and you won't wreck your quadcopter. Alright, the first thing you want to do when you get ready to fly your Phantom is you want to do your pre-flight check. So do these things before you take off for the first time or any time and you'll have a safe flight. This is my radio. The first thing you got to do is make sure both of your switches are in the up position. Take your antenna and point it up at about 45 degrees and your radio is ready to go. Alright, if you're flying the Phantom, one battery you might want to check out is this Zippy 2830C battery. It's a 2800 battery instead of the 2200 that Phantom gives you, so this battery is going to give you a little bit better flight time. Alright, now if you don't have them already, especially for the novice, I highly recommend prop guards. Put prop guards on your Phantom and paint the front prop guards a different color. And that way when you're out there flying, when no matter how you're turned around, you can always tell which is the front of the aircraft. So put prop guards on, paint the front ones a different color like bright yellow or pink if that's what you're into. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is turn on your radio. So we power up the radio and some radios blink and then go red and some of them just turn on red. So as long as you have a constant red light on your radio, you're good to go. Then put your battery in. Now this battery door, we have it notched so that we can plug the battery in on the outside of the Phantom because we're using bigger batteries in the Phantom. So make sure your door is nice and secure and it's not going to pop open. And then plug your battery in. And you know, if it's on the inside of your Phantom, just tuck them back away, uh, close the door. So now we're ready. And once you've got your battery plugged in, don't move the Phantom all around. Let the Phantom sit and get its GPS locked. So just let it settle down and watch your LEDs. If you've got three LEDs flashing, you don't have enough satellites locked in to take off. If you've got two red LEDs flashing, you've got exactly six satellites locked in. If you've got one LED, red LED flashing, you've got more than six uh, satellites locked in. And if you have just a green pulsing light, you've got more than six locked in. Now, it's got its home point locked when you see 20 continuous flashes of green. So when it goes bip, 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 bip on a green light, that means it's marked its home point. So it can do that even while it's still flashing red, it'll mark its home point. So you just don't want to take off before you see those 20 green flashes. All right, to start up, so what you want to do is, is pull both sticks down and to the middle. So that'll start your motors when you pull both sticks into the center position. And that's the same thing for stopping the Phantom. Just pull both sticks into the center. Then let them go. This stick will self-center itself so that it's in the middle or idle position. Now to take off, what you want to do is you want to give it about 80 or 85% throttle almost all the way but not quite but don't give it just a little bit of throttle because all you're going to do is make your phantom bounce around on the ground you want it to get off the ground smoothly and quickly so just give it enough throttle to get it up off the ground right away so once you're off the ground just get it out there and get up about seven to ten feet or so and let it settle down and hover and then you know that you can watch it and see if your compass is calibrated correctly. If your Phantom with no stick control, you're not touching your sticks, if your Phantom is staying within a foot or so of one point, of one spot, then you know you're calibrated correctly. If you're wandering all over the place and the Phantom is drifting around, then you might need to calibrate your compass. So, Here's a good practice for you. Like, I remember, when you're turning, always turn away from yourself. 
don't turn when you're turning don't turn the phantom toward you because remember if the phantom is to pointed at you then everything is reversed your left is your right and your right is your left on your stick controls so when you're turning make sure that you turn away and then come back and turn away again but again don't turn toward yourself you're just going to get confused wait until you're uh, not a novice anymore before you start attempting those maneuvers okay you notice that I'm not touching any of the sticks and the phantom is staying pretty much where it's supposed to stay so the first thing that you want to do is make sure your phantom is pointed directly away from you if you've got your prop guards painted a different color just have those prop guards on the other side or on the far side of you so that means you're flying directly away from yourself and that's what you want to do to start out let's bring it back here a minute and i'll show you what i mean you want to keep the prop guards away from you fly straight out and then come back and fly straight back toward you go to the right and then go to the left but what what you don't want to do is start turning your phantom around because then you're just going to get yourself disoriented if you're on your first flight just keep your prop guards pointed away from you and you can do circles you can come back toward yourself but you notice the prop guards are always on the far side so keep your prop guards over there make some right turns make some left turns fly away from you fly toward you but again notice that those prop guards are out on the other side and the prop guards are on the far side and facing away from you don't start rotating your phantom until you're until you're completely comfortable with flying it once you've mastered straight out straight back bank right bank left then you can start turning on your axis just a little bit and practicing those maneuvers but if you want to avoid crashing just practice what I told you there and just fly out back left and right you'll get it all right all right gang I want to thank you for joining us and I want to let you know that if you'd like to order our landing gear skids these can really help you especially if you're a novice when a phantom comes down and lands they tend to want to tip and if you're not if you don't have prop guards on you're going to chip your props and the props are very very fragile so if you don't have extra props you might want to get some even if you do have prop guards you want to try to not tip your phantom when you're landing so if you'd like send us 20 bucks and we'll send you a set of these landing gear skids they're made out of lexan they stick out an inch and a half on the front and the back and they let they weigh about 1.02 ounces so incredibly light so landing gear skids a good modification for your phantom send me an email to jim bowers at foothill.net and I'll set you up with PayPal and we'll get them right off to you. Thanks for joining us, gang. Now, I'm Jim Bowers. This is another YouTube video. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos so I move up a little in the rankings. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.